Hi, my name is John Halloran, and I'm going to teach you how to store a, a mid sequence or a category or uh, something you want as three hits. But anyway, let's think of a good example would be like if you have a lot of friends, maybe you have first grade friends, second grade friends, and third grade friends, and, and maybe you have cousins or church friends, but see how that's sort of a category. So when you hit the mine, you hit that mine button, we intended you to store names. Some of you have children and adults you work with that are gonna need a lot more names than 82 locations, whatever we have left there. So if I wanna make this my second grade friends, then I could touch that location and get 82 uh, more. The reason I say 82 is because go back and clear display are needed. So anyway, we're gonna do this in three steps. And I think you can keep it down to three steps, then I think you're in good shape. The first step is gonna to be to actually store one of the words in, the, in that se sequence using those three symbols. Then we're gonna make the label look good. And then we're gonna get the uh, go back and the clear display. So it's three stages. I know it, I wish it was all one, but it's three, but it's not bad. It's really kind of slick and easy. You just have to accept that I gotta do it in three stages. So let's do stage one, where we just store a name in there. Now I had someone in my class, uh, Paul was a nice friend of mine and he was in second grade. So I hit mine. I see where I wanna put Paul right here, my second grade friends. So now I hit menu, editor, and now I touch where I wanna put it right here. And when, once I touched it, it gives me an option of editing this button or creating a new button or creating a new link. That's the one I want. I'm not, I, I don't wanna edit this button, that would end there. I wanna create a new link right here. So when I touch that, now it immediately takes me, it looks like they're all grayed out and that's telling me there's nothing stored there. Now, Paul Gray was my good friend. So I'm gonna go where good is right here. See how good's right in the middle? Now I'm gonna change that to a picture of Paul, but I'm looking where I wanna put it because it helps. So I touch that and this time I don't want it to go to another one. This time I do wanna edit this button. So now I go up here and I, it's really nice if you go up to the top here where it says, let me go back there so you can see where I was. It's really nice if you go to the message, you don't have to worry about the label because it puts it in there for you. So if I touch right here where it says add word or phrase, now I can do my shift and I can just spell Paul, of course. And then I say finished right here in the corner. See where it's green, it says finished. Now it added this for me, which is really nice, but I really don't like this thumbs up for his last icon. This is where, see all these different options. I could get down here and pick a color, make him stick out a little more. I could change the symbol and uh, this was a second grade friend, so I'm gonna do boy. And I do prefer generic pictures because I'm gonna meet a lot of Pauls in my life. So I look for a hit boy and I hit search. And then I get an option here. Oh, this, one's, oh, this one's kind of good, that works for me. And now I hit finished. Now I just hit save. That was my first step and I'm gonna do it again because I don't want it fast, but I'm gonna do it again. You can rewind and play again if you missed that first step. But let's just do it one more time to have third grade friends too. There's still two more steps to do. But let's just do it one more time to get that first step down. So now when I hit mine, I see this up and that's what I wanna change to a second. That's the second step. But then when I touch that, it takes me to Paul. All right, so let's do, let's set up the third grade one and then let's make those labels look good. All right, so we're gonna do step one again. Hit the mine or whatever. If I was doing a new food category, I would get to the foods. If I was doing my, my drinks, I would go to my drinks. And if I was doing colors, I'd go, you know, get the idea. And not always gonna be names. Sometimes it's gonna be another category. If I have a kid who loves dinosaurs or likes TV characters, I could hit the TV set down here because you watch TV and I could make one of these take me to a category of uh, Disney movies or Disney characters. Okay, just anytime you want to go to a third location, this is a nice way to do it. Okay, let's hit the mine one more time. Let's see, this would be a nice location. This was second, and I can make this my third grade friends. So I see that location. Now I hit menu, editor, and don't hit edit again, because that's good. You just go down here and touch the spot where you want to put your third grade friends. And that pulls up this nice option of editing this button or creating a new link. And that's what you love right there, that creating a new link. And when you touch it, 
It's a little confusing because you can't, it doesn't feel like it did anything, but it actually took you to this blank page and it's leaving the icons to show you what the original icon was. So I'm gonna go to the stop sign now. I'm gonna change that to a picture of a girl. And I'm gonna say, edit this button because this is where I'm gonna store Cindy. So now I go up here where it says message. I could do label first, then I'd have to do the message. But if I do message first and touch there, it does it for me. So capital C-I-N-D-Y. Here's my finished over here. And that could be a word or a phrase, but look how it added, the, added this for me. So I'm just gonna, look, it gave me a picture suggestion. I'm gonna go with that one. And if I didn't like that, I could change the color. I could change the symbol. These first three are all I'm gonna work with you today because that's really the most important ones. Hit finished and hit save. All right, so now we've done step one. You'll see, I've got these two categories. Now I gotta make those categories look nice and clean for second and third grade. All right, so now when I hit mine, See how that doesn't give me a nice symbol telling me this is my second and this is my third grade friends and I want to change that. So now that I can see that button I want to change, I'm ready to make it look like a, something that represents second grade and I can actually label it. All right, so now that I can see it, I'm ready to change it. So now I go in here and I hit menu, I go to editor again, and I touch the one I want to edit, which takes me to Paul. So there I made a mistake. So I'm gonna go back, which is really, I don't mind that that happened because if I, if I did it wrong, you're gonna do it wrong. So go back, let's go. If I, I know if I hit edit, I can now edit it. If this turns blue first, that was my mistake. When I wanna change that mid sequence, I have to make this one turn blue. Then I go here, see how that changed it? Now that, this is that mid sequence. You can see it right here. So now I'm gonna hit where it says label right here, insert label. And the rule is, if it's gonna uh, not talk, then we do it all in caps. Second grade, see how I'm doing it all in caps so that it looks different. That tells the individual that one doesn't talk. Now I don't like this symbol representing second grade. So I'm gonna go down here where it says symbol and I'm gonna search for a symbol that represents and I'm just gonna do, I think, maybe if I do the number two, I'll get a nice, Something I remember about playing with this before when I wanted to represent something for a second grade. I did the two out. Now this is this isn't bad. Let's try a second anyway. Let's say I don't know that doesn't look as good as I hoped. Let's take out two and let's try a second. Yeah, there's never one right answer. Yeah, this is the one I like. I don't know why I just love that one for second grade. But everyone has their own, there's not no piggy there, but here we go. It, that's what it's going to, it's going to have the second grade on top. It's going to have that symbol. So now I just say finished. I could have changed its color too and make it stick out just a little more. I'll go back and change the color. I like to make that color stick out a little more. All right, now let's hit save. That's stage two, the second thing we do. And I'm going to do it again with a little making more, that mistake I made, made it just slightly harder, but maybe you learned from my mistake. All right, let's look at it first to see if it looks good. You hit the mine, look, now we got the second and see how it's labeled. And now I touch there and up comes Paul. So let's change, when we hit the mine, let's change this to say third, have a third there and take me to my third grade friend, Cindy. She's been in third grade a long time. All right, here we go. Hit the mine one time, see the mid sequence you wanna change. Now you go to menu, edit, and this is the part I messed up last time. You got to change this edit right here because you got to say, no, I don't want to keep going to the next button. I want to edit this location. So that worked. So now I don't want a message here. I want just the label. So I want it all caps. And this will be third. And I guess it doesn't matter if you do grade or not because it didn't show up. I think there might be ways to manipulate that, but and I did like the way that color made it stick out. And I did want to change that symbol to something that looks like third better than a thumbs up. Although I did have some good friends and my third grade friends. I like following this little guy here. It looks like it follows that pattern of mid sequence there. And then I hit save. Notice I didn't store them next to each other because it makes it a little easier when they're spaced apart visual perceptually and makes the motor plans a little more unique. All right, so now when I hit mine, 
I get my second grade friends. And then when I hit mine, I can go to my third grade friends. All right, so everything's working really good, but there's just one little thing I want to give you one more. I know you might not need this, but let's just show you one more thing. See how when you get here, you don't have a go back or a clear display. Well, that's as easy to get those. What you do is you hit, and you can get them in any page, but it's easiest to get it when you hit the mine one time. See how you can see that go back? Go to your editor one more time, and then hit the one that says copy, right here right in the middle, it says copy, and then touch the go back. All right, so then after you touched it, now hit the second, and that took you to your second grade page. Now, I have to move my big face. Now hit the one that says paste and touch that corner to put it there. All right. Now that worked out really nice. Now hit this little go back. Now I can see the clear display and I want to steal that one too. So now I say copy, clear display. Then I just say I want to go to the second. Now I see where I want to put it. So now I hit paste right here. And now I hit save. So that's really pretty nice. So those are the three steps. You create, the, you store the word, fix the mid sequence, and then add the go back and clear display. I think someday they'll make a template that does this a little easier for us. But for now, this is how we're doing it. Hit this, go to second. And look, if I made a mistake, I can go back. I can go to second grade. If I really made a mistake, I hit clear display. Let's add those clear display and go backs to that third grade friends. Hit the mine. See the spot you want to edit. Hit the menu, editor, touch that location. Well, not really. I could do that, but that'd get me into this sequence. I don't want to do that. And I really love this. I don't know who the genius was who developed this go back key. So I don't even mind that that happened to me. This is going to happen to you too. Just learn if you go too far some spot, hit this one. And this one takes you home. But this one, this is a nice little, oops, I've made a mistake. All right, so when I'm here, I got to copy these first. So I'm going to copy the go back. Now I'm going to go to my second, which I already did it there. So I'm going to go back again. I'm going to go to my copy, my go back, go to the third grade. Now I'm finally cooking with, cooking with oil. Now I hit paste, go back right there. Now here's that nice go back again. Copy the clear. Go back to my third grade. Paste here. Now I'm done. I save. That's it. There's, it's really just three steps. You store a word within the, within the category you want. Make sure you make some time thinking about where you want to put it. Then make the mid sequence to be all caps. Maybe color code it, change the symbol, and then copy and paste the clear display and go back to you so you have those. All right. That's how you store something as a mid sequence or three sequences or have a category. Uh, for storing new words. I hope that helps.